Before the Peugeot 206 CC appeared in 2001, the folding hardtop convertible was strictly the province of luxury cars, usually with a three-pointed star on the bonnet. The 206 CC changed all that and went on to become the best-selling convertible car in the UK for three consecutive years. With over 360,000 units built, it was the world's favourite small coupe cabriolet. And that's some billing for this 207cc to live up to. The 207cc doesn't deviate too much from the template set by its predecessor. The proportions are a little less stubby, the silhouette are a few degrees more elegant. With 2 plus 2 seating, although you wouldn't want to try and lever adults into the back here, it's 4.04 metres long, adding 21 centimetres to the length of the old 206cc. Operating the roof is simplicity itself, thanks to its entirely automatic operation. In other words, no more of the manual release handles that ladies used to break their fingernails on. The only manual operation consists of pressing the control button for about 25 seconds, during which time the opening or closing cycle is completed. The 206 always had a wide array of engines to draw upon and the 207 is no different. Three engines are available and somewhat oddly they're all 1.60 to 16 valve units, two petrol, one a highly refined and economical diesel. The entry level petrol engine is a 120 horsepower 1.6 litre 16 valve unit. This is the engine that will rack up the most sales and it's a variant of the next power plant in the lineup. 150 horsepower 1.6 litre turbo unit, albeit shorn of the turbocharger. There's also a very creditable 110 brake horsepower diesel on offer. Although the 1.6 litre petrol engine will snag the majority of sales, it's well worth taking a test drive in the 1.6 litre 150 brake horsepower turbo because it's one of the standout engines of its generation. A 50 litre fuel tank might be the only drawback, but otherwise the technical specification is very impressive. Think of the 207cc as a car that ruthlessly excises all of the elements that occasionally frustrated with the 206cc, and you're not far off the mark. Better build quality, a far prettier shape, improved drivability, and all of the elements combined together should punt this car back to the top of the sales chart.